What's going on YouTube? This is Oracle Bose, and uh, this is gonna be another episode of my Empire Never Give Up series. So today is gonna be a long video, and uh, I'm gonna cast two battles. The first battle is uh, me taking on Dark Elves. So let's check my opponent's army first. So he's got a quite complex formation as you can see here. Two Dark Shards with shields, two Witch Elves, three Hageneth Executioners, two Dread Spears, and at the very front, two Black Swords. One of them is at rank 2. Sorry, this unit is actually another Dread Spears. And uh, that's all his army. So he went a very infantry heavy list as you can see here. And also don't forget my captain on the chariot. And let's check my army. I have a pretty standard 4 great sword front line, 3 handgunners, one of them is silver bullets, 3 spears, uh, 1 jade wizard with, uh, with just regrows. A life bloom and the wing regen item. I believe I have a royal end of Griffas hiding in the woods here, and another hiding in this woods here. Sorry, that's my general, and uh, this is another demi helps hiding in the woods. And my general in charge is a general of the empire on Griffin. All right, let's see how it plays out. So first thing, um. You guys gonna notice is that my opponent just uh, very, very uh, impatiently rushing forward, and I am responding by moving my formation a little bit to the, just shifting then to the right to face my opponent. And my opponent also. Vanguard deployed uh, two Dark Rider with shields and uh, a Dark Rider crossbows, I believe. Sorry, I forgot those units. So I'm just uh, retrieving a little bit while I use my Lord try to do some more scout and uh, maybe do some harassing as well. And right here, I uh, actually noticed uh, those units. So I quickly respond by. I think I'm gonna respond by use my Royal End of Griffas to chase those uh, crossbows. Not a very ideal situation. And I also responding by putting these spears to try to block those Dark Riders. Meanwhile, using this spear to come here, uh, try to block them as well. While all this is happening, uh, I also uh, put this demi unit here to to deal with the Dark Riders. While all this is happening, my opponent is actually moving forward and almost made it into my line. And uh, the handgunners eventually got uh, caught by the Dark Riders, but Dark Riders got sandwiched by Spearsmen and uh, the end of Griffas. And this Dark Rider. Uh, Dark Rider is gonna be chased out of the map by those are uh, demis. Uh, I do want to comment on my opponent's uh, formation here. I think it's a very good formation, except uh, you don't really want to do like boxes for those units. You want to stretch them like into a very thin line so they can get the full charge bonus. As you can see, I'm counter-charging with all four of my great swords into them. Like this into them, and this into them. While I'm repositioning my handguns, and uh, I think I'm gonna focus down this unit, Hagenus Executioners, here. Just uh, focus fire into them, try to take them out of the map straight away. And my Royal End of Proof Fires actually dealt with those uh, Dark Riders. And right now, I 
think I'm about to put them into the main engagement here. And here, those uh, those executions just got absolutely obliterated. As you can see here, uh, I have I have like a gap here which I intentionally left, and those executions just slowly move into this trap and got focused down by all three of my handguns. Just did it then instantly, pretty much three volleys, and this unit is just just, just gone. Meanwhile, my opponent is managed to sneak through with a trade spear unit and followed up with a witch half unit. No lingering. Take the ground. No! So I'm using my spears to hold this unit here, but they're gonna get savaged by witch elves as well. Meanwhile, I charged my demis and my lord separately into uh, this unit of Hagenes executioners and managed to route them. And also, I casted a uh, upgraded regrowth onto my demis. So just make sure, together with those Graceful units, they're gonna deal with this unit of execution is rather fast without losing models of course because uh Demis now has much less unit like much less unit health pool so uh if you use them to fight some elite armor piercing infantry they're gonna lose models very fast so you don't want that happen Oh, and uh, there's another witch of unit I actually managed to think, sneak through from here and almost get into my silver bullets. And Malakas actually is chasing my uh, handgunners as well. But uh, as you can see, Demis are coming back. So soon I'm gonna use this Demi unit to deal with uh, those witch elves and also the spearsmen at the back as reserve. So got a nice sandwich here and uh, just uh, wish to get rid of them straight away. At the same time, I charged my lord into Malachis and did some charge dam damage. Also, there's a Spearsman unit here. So, this fire is not really gonna go into Malachis' favor. While all this is happening, I'm actually losing a handgunner unit to Witch Elves here. But uh, as you can see, right now, I'm doing pretty well at the front line. Pretty much winning all across the board except those at that, that tiny engagement. Um, Great Swords are now pounding away on those dark shots. And uh, after dealt with those witch elves, uh, Demis and this unit of spearmen decided to okay, we want some more witch elf bloods. So they dive into another witch elves. And I did another cycle charge on Malakas, dropped his health down to 50% but uh, my griffin actually got shot at the back by those uh, dark, dark shots but those dark shots got quickly taken care of by royal of griffas soon i'm gonna cast another okay so i decided that okay maybe griffin is a uh, very weak right now so maybe griffin gonna lose to malakas so i decided to cast another regrowth on him which is an upgraded one as well and just try to chase those, uh, ch chase that chariot down. And at this moment, there's a mass shatter going on across the board for Dark Elves, and they decided to give up. They want to go home. And GG, it goes. So basically, um, I think he he had a very nice army, but uh, if he can. Time, time the you know the harassment uh, of those dark riders uh, together with the infantry. So because these three units actually died pretty early, uh, while infantry is still advancing. So you wanna actually time all your maneuvers together. So just sort of overwhelm your opponent when you try to play like a melee heavy list with uh, some skirmish uh, night calves. So I think with better Pro, this unit actually, uh, th 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 this list actually can shine. And the other thing I want to say is that uh, this unit of execu 
executioners just get taken out like for free pretty much like they have zero kills and this unit here they were fighting um they were fighting dummies and uh and also the one of the graceful units so they got a big sandwiched so they didn't do well as well so as dark elves you really want to uh, pair pair executioners with uh, witch elves support so you can pin down units and just bring them down once the melee buff arrives so what you all I think um, this is a very good example of uh, of how to deal with dark elves and and as uh, and uh, at the same time, how dark elves um, should not really do against empire, I suppose. But um, I think the least was fine, but just he played it a little bit questionable. All right, so let's jump into the second battle replay, and uh, it's also against dark elves. So I believe this I just casted this one. Now let's jump into the second one. All right. So there we go. Now uh, let's jump into my opponent's army straight away, as always. So he's got a very um, corset heavy list. So he's got four corsets, one, two, three, four, four bleak swords at the front, two witch elves on each flank, one shade unit. Actually, mm, this is something quite new. Uh, two cold one knights with uh, with lances. So these are anti-large ones, and a code one cavalry um, with a hundred twenty armor. So these are anti-infantry ones, pretty much. So th these are pretty much just uh, question knights, but with less model and uh, and can rampage. Last but not the least, Malakas on his code one. All right, let's check my army. I brought exactly the same army, so I don't think there's, there's any need to go through this again. So let's see how it plays out. So this map is actually kind of tricky, because uh, my initial thought is uh, maybe move my army up and uh, just fight here. But then I quickly realized that those foreigners probably gonna just uh, screw up my handguns. Um, now side, so right now I just decided okay maybe just move my entire infantry up towards here. So if my opponent want to flank me, he's gonna go all the way from here and uh, from the back, and uh, I can I can have plenty of time to realize what's happening and uh, deal with the flanking maneuver. And uh, that's exactly what I'm. I'm going to do in this battle. Right now I'm just using my Empire, uh, General of the Empire to scout those woods to see if uh, my opponent is hitting any vanguard units in the, inside those forests. Let's uh, speed up a little bit. So right now my opponent actually divided his army into two, two sections. This is like a cavalry section together with uh, Malekith and this is the infantry section. So I realized that okay, those calves might not support those infantry efficiently, plus I can't see shade unit until now. So this initially I decided to okay do some harassment here, try to try to you know do some damage before those uh, infantry hit my main engagement but then I qu quickly realized that there's a shape unit there so I need to kind of be careful about those uh, those missiles all right and uh, my opponent is slowly moving this block 
and as I said before, slowly just maneuver them all the way to the back of my nine. And I think he initially want to move the entire thing uphill, but then he um, give up that sort of give up that um, thinking and decided to okay just fight in the front. And those calves are still moving towards the destination. And right now, I decided, okay, maybe I need to engage them before those calves actually get into place. And at this, and and uh, at the same time, I'm just maneuvering my spears to get a nice defensive uh, layer, while I have my damage behind them to deal with those calves. At the same time, soon I'm gonna just charge forward with my infantry and I just moved my spear away from the uh, chill wind which is nice. Handguns are firing at those uh, bleak swords. Uh, they did pretty bad damage because those guys have uh, silver, uh, silver shields. So all great swords gonna get a clear charge on those flick swords, which is not gonna be great for my opponent. While all this is happening, my opponent actually decided, okay, let's go in with the calf. And uh, that Corsair unit actually got focused really bad by my handguns. And my opponent, I think he wanted to just uh, sneak through and uh, just get into those handguns. And then I'm responding using all three spears, try to block them and uh, both of that damage. And I can see they regrows onto this damage unit as well. And the front battle is actually going quite nice for me. As you can see, as you can see, I completely uh, demolished those uh, bleak swords and this corsair unit, and I also routed those bleak swords and that bleak sword unit, and all great swords are now engaged into the back nine. And uh, Malakas actually got surrounded by two dummies. And Grossos are still just pounding away through the ranks, and now they're gonna fight witch elves. And this battle here, uh, he casted a very good soul steal on on my block. So soul steal actually gonna do decent damage to my damage, as you can see here, and regen heaps for Malakas. But uh, those calves now got surrounded by all three of my spears and they're also fighting two dummies. Despite the fact that Dami is still dying quite fast, but uh, Dark Elves took a lot of damage as well. So here is a weak, uh, is a witch elves unit try to sneak through in into my handguns. And I quickly noticed that and uh, just dealt with them with my general. And uh, because the buff actually hits, as you can see, my great swords were winning and now they are kinda just uh, taking a lot of damage right now. And my damage got, uh, got wrecked pretty hard there. So I decided, okay, maybe don't put them stay like in that fight and make them to do something else. So those rich elves got engaged with the Grey Swords, which are not gonna be in Dark Elves' favor. And those rich elves actually managed to beat this Grey Sword unit. I still got two Grey Sword units at the front. And right now, my Royal End of Purifiers and my Griffin Lord 
just uh, decided to take on Manakas. <coughs> Bless me. Oh. And uh, at this moment, I think it's quite dicey. But uh, all of a sudden, it seems pretty well. It seems the situation got better for Empire. So as you can see, I have a very secure back nine with all three handguns still al alive. I have uh, three spears here to block anything charging from this direction, and uh, I still have my Lord and my Royal End of Griffiths. While all this remaining, I still have uh, one healthy greatsword unit here, uh, chasing routing units, and this like greatsword unit here, and also that lot. And meanwhile, those uh, those dummies and uh, greatswords gonna gonna keep pounding on those uh, corsairs. And in the center, Malakas actually got dealt with as well. I think soon Malakas is gonna decide to give up and uh, there will be a mass shatter. Alright. So this is a much closer battle than the previous one. And uh, I th I think this list is very questionable because I, I those cold ones are very nice, but uh, they were fighting dummies with support of spears. Despite the fact dummies still dying pretty hard on the, uh, to them, but uh, they took a lot of damage as well. So that was n that was not really a good call because. Uh, it's better to use those guys on the, on the flank with support of uh, dread spears, but apparently my opponent didn't bring dread spears. Uh, Witch elves did quite a lot. Corsairs did horribly, and also those blixels. These eight units just got murdered by all three, like all four of my great swords. As you can see, pretty much all units got a decent kill. So. Fight to fight empire, you really need executioners, in my opinion. And you need to somehow find a way to keep them alive and let them just do their work. And uh, this is gonna wrap up this episode. And uh, as always, I really appreciate your guys' support. And if you like this video, please consider subscribe and uh, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.